Hello, my name's Steve and welcome to the Seaside Allotment Channel. I've just retreated into the polytunnel because it's chucking it down with rain. And uh, I'm kind of in the middle of the start of the Christmas harvest. So uh, we're harvesting for quite a few people this Christmas. Um, and it'll be kind of phased over a number of days. But I'll try and show you what we're picking and what we've picked. So we'll start off with the brassicas. And we've got some gorgeous stuff. Really lovely sprout tops. Quite nice sprouts. Kale isn't so good, but we've actually got some really nice young kale leaves. So uh, I've kind of hacked away at these plants and uh, I'm pretty lovely pleased. Lovely purple sprouting broccoli. And I've just picked this plant, so there's not much left, but uh, I think I'll do another pick closer to Christmas Day. have that many sprouts, but we've got dozens of these uh, Colette stalks, and uh, yeah, they're really Carlo lovely. Carlo Nero is a bit of a disappointment, but uh, we'll get some of it. Look at the uh, leafy green selection. Picking lots of these field bean tops. Um, they're pretty good, just like broad bean tops, uh, which are just like spinach. Pretty good reserve of leeks, so I should be picking half a dozen of those. I just picked the last of the uh, purple carrots. I'm actually pretty pleased with those. Not too many, but uh, still quite nice to have. to pick, actually. I was quite pleased when I opened this little uh, hoot and lob to find that uh, it's grown on pretty strong in the last week. Picking some rocket. And I think I'll actually start picking some of the uh, winter miners' lettuce, but not too much because uh, this is a really hardy one, so we want to keep that for later. And I think I'll make a start on this uh, spring onion bed as well. And I just uh, got a message just this minute from uh, one of my friends just saying that the broad bean tops are absolutely delicious, she said. So, uh, yeah, I'm pleased we've got loads of those. Spinach, although to be honest, we haven't had a great crop of spinach this year. It's uh, been a bit of a disappointment. Probably all of the uh, remaining radicchio. I'm not going to pick any of the uh, uh, January king cabbages because I think I'll just leave those for later on in the season. But I'm going to pick that little guy, and this one, and that one. I think I'd have to have a good look around. I've been getting a bit complacent about the pest pressures at this time of year. On with the uh, harvesting the lettuce beds. And we've got some really nice stuff. This look rocks is really lovely. It's Grenoble Red. It's Mizuna. Bijou. That's really gorgeous. This is not too bad. Carde is quite nice as well. Level of all seasons. It's not brilliant prefer Roxy. Last but not least in the lettuces, the um, Mottistone, which is probably the most productive of the winter lettuces, but it's not the best tasting. I'm going to pick a bit of celery, some of this lovely red vein sorrel, and I'm going to harvest probably half of my new potatoes. So as per usual, harvest into buckets, and I've got a nice bucket of kale there, lovely one of these uh, bean sprouts there. Collects and leeks there, and radicchio hearts there. So that's the potatoes done, and probably about I don't know three liters there. But two of the potatoes were like that. So I'm guessing that blight just reached those, given the uh, the point that they're rotting from. And we did have some tubs that. Uh, got a little bit of blight and I thought I'd caught it in time but obviously not but not two of them and it looks like most of the potatoes actually okay so I'll probably cut that bit off. It's done and it's always tricky uh, this time of year knowing how much to pick because obviously it's nice to pick stuff for Christmas uh, and have a nice spread but also we've got to remember you know you don't want to over pick the plants and not leave yourself anything for January and February until everything starts growing again. So today I've pretty much left the polytunnel as is, I've not picked anything from here. Um, and the reasoning behind that is that we're projected to have some really cold weather in January. Um, so it'll just be foul out, sort of on the plot probably harvesting. Uh, so I can do most of the harvesting from the polytunnel. Anyway, I'll show you what I've picked. So here's the quick overview. So down this end we've got the salad mixes, we've got some tomatoes, we don't add tomatoes to our salad mixes until we're ready to eat them, we pick them up straight off the plants, uh, collets and sprouts, leeks, 
these are the uh, effectively broad bean tops some spinach just a few potatoes from the store some golden beets some lovely kale and these are brassica mixes so there's sprouts and collets and different kales and things in there and what else we got we've got collet tops we've got more mixed brassicas, sprouts, and red Russian kale and Carvalho Nero. That's for Jenny because she doesn't like curly kale. Um, we've got some brock purple sprouting broccoli, more purple sprouting broccoli, more potatoes from the store, some of the last carrots from the open ground, potatoes, new potatoes, some garlic, some onions, and some shallots. So that's it, pretty pleased with that. Just gotta get it all packed up now. I should just point out, in case it's confusing, this isn't actually our Christmas harvest because we're picking stuff fresh. This is just the food that we're gonna eat between now and Christmas. Uh, but we do do the friends and family harvest a little bit early because um, then they know what they've got and if they need extras and stuff like that, they've got plenty of time to buy it. Uh, it is nice to see everything all boxed up. And Diane's just been and she's just taken hers so uh, there was another four containers but anyway that's not a bad little haul for december all that remains is just to wish everybody happy holidays uh, i've really enjoyed doing these videos and uh, i've done them mostly for me so it's kind of a really great bonus that other people have enjoyed them as well and uh, i'll see you soon